what the greatest talking head creators typically do to create those special videos we love to watch. It's right there, in front of us, but most of the time we ignore the simple applicable formula that they use. Let's break it down and it will be easier for us to apply these steps right away. Let's find out what are their most used techniques for talking head videos and how these creators apply them. And more importantly, how can we apply them easily and what tools to use. We don't need to watch a ton of videos to quickly observe some common things about talking head videos. Let me show you some examples made by some great talking head creators. Even if we watch without sound, we can observe some patterns. Can you see the most obvious one? When they say something, they try to visually represent it. This is, in my opinion, the first thing that we need to pay attention to if we want to keep the viewer attention as much as we can, especially if we make talking head videos. I will give you some tips about how to do this easily, even if you don't want to go outside and shoot a lot of b-roll and shoot a lot of other things, and maybe if you are not a great uh, editor or animator, it's easier than you think. But first, I want to show you a demonstration that I made in one of my older videos. It's interesting to watch and clear to see what I'm talking about. If you take a battery, a wire and a light bulb, connect one side of the wire to the negative side of the battery, after that connect the side of the bulb to the other side of the wire and connect the downside of the bulb to the positive side of the battery, the bulb will light up. If you take a battery, a wire and a light bulb, connect one side of the wire to the negative side of the battery, connect the other side of the wire to the side of the bulb and connect the down side of the bulb to the positive side of the battery, the bulb will light up. Which one do you like and understand the most? Which one is more easy and pleasing to watch? Of course, the first one. You don't need to make a b-roll all the time or try to visually represent everything, but Try to do this as much as you can. Before going into simple applicable solutions for you, let's discover more of what successful creators do. What do you observe in all these videos? You don't need sound in this case either. Yes, they use simple tricks to create dynamics in their video. A small crop. Zoom in and out from time to time. Zooming in is perfect when you say something important. It will give your audience the feeling of, hey, come closer and pay attention to this. Also, this will create the feeling of multicam. At the same time, you see text, small images, things popping out here and there. This trick will also help the dynamic of the video. Sometimes it can be a little bit boring to watch a person speaking for a long time, but if you help your story with dynamic tricks, that will help to keep the viewer attention fixed on what you say for a long time much easier. Of course, I will show you how to do these tricks easily, but we need to discover one more important thing these creators do to make us watch their videos until the end with interest. Big talking head video creators use specific structures to create their videos. All big creators start their videos with a great and powerful hook, a big, big question or a great statement or a controversial one. This is the story of how Disney finally lost the copyright to Mickey Mouse. Well, not all of Mickey Mouse, parts of Mickey Mouse. Look, it's, it's complicated. The ocean is terrifying. But the maps that we have of our oceans are actually terrible. If I were to tell you that in 12 months time, you would never have to write a video script again or even use your brain to grow your YouTube channel, how would you feel? This hook should make the viewer interested immediately in the rest of the video. Most of the time, after the hook, creators use a part called setup, where they explain to viewers what they will find, learn or discover in the video. The big promise and a few steps, parts or points. It can be more or less, but too many of them will be hard to remember. There's a bunch of really good shit in this book. But there are six things in particular that I really took away from them. And if you apply any one of them to your life, you don't have to apply all six. There's seven things I'm going to show you that are going to help you get more views on old videos, new videos, build retention, and tell better stories. And it might even put people like me out of a job. So I'm going to cover five things. What to do, how to do it, why to do it, who you need to become to do it, and finally, when to start. So let's start with number one. 
Another important thing to remember about this is that every step should have a small payoff. And of course, after the big payoff, the big promise of, of the video. And to close the video, they do something interesting for the ending. All the time making another hook and setup for the next video that they'll recommend for you to watch and encourage the viewer to click and watch the next video. That video is gonna be linked right over here. So thank you so much for watching. Have a lovely day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. This video here is gonna show you how to do just that. After that, click on this box over here for more Legal Eagle or I'll see you in court. This will help the channel a lot. Now let's see how can we apply these things easier and what tools to use. For visual storytelling, it might look complicated, but it's much easier than you think and it's so powerful. Try this. After you film your video like this, Make the cuts, make the entire video, your speech, and watch the video from start to finish. And think and make a list about what do you think you can visually represent. Everything, as detailed as you can. If you talk about a car, you can add some shots with that car. If you talk about a camera, show that camera. If you talk about some numbers, statistics, show a graph. If you talk about a feeling, Yes, this can be represented too. Try to find stock footage maybe with a person that is happy, curious or sad. Try and make this list as detailed as you can. After, see what you can personally shoot from that list if you want to shoot some B-roll. If you don't want to shoot something, you can try stock footage. For this, I can recommend Envato Elements. This is what I use and I can find everything I need here. Videos, music, photos, vectors, templates for me and for my clients. It's awesome. It's pretty affordable if you want to subscribe to an annual plan. This video is not sponsored by Envato. It's just what I use and like, but I will give you an affiliate link in the description if you want to subscribe. I will earn a commission and you will not pay anything extra. It will just help my channel if you use my link and it will be much appreciated. Thank you. If you make this list and visually represent as much as you can, I can guarantee that your videos will have a much, much better retention. And now let's see some tricks about how to create dynamics easy and free. That simple zoom in and out, it's easy to create in your editing software, but improve this method paying attention to this. When you zoom in or out, try to keep the eye in the same spot. This is so important. People like to look other people in the eyes when they speak. If your eyes are moving, jumping from here to here when you speak, your audience will get tired trying to follow your eyes. So try to keep the eye in the same spot like this. This is much easier to follow. And another super easy thing you can do to create more dynamics is to add some text on the screen to highlight some specific words, some important words that will make some words pop out and this is important because the the brain of your viewer will understand that those words are important and their brains will be more engaged use a clear big bold font or something easy to read don't make things complicated and hard to read just to look good the main purpose of this thing is to be easier to follow but now you can do great visual storytelling have dynamics or have a great structure and still have low quality talking head videos if you don't take care of the next super super important step watch this video that will help you to have a better creation process and make great valuable talking head videos